Hi guys, welcome to my channel Sugar MD. Today we are talking about cherries. It's cherry season. It's July. We just celebrated July 4th in the US here. And I want to talk about the cherries because I've seen a lot of them around. Let's get started. Hi guys, thank you for watching. Uh, quickly, I have a quiz for you in the description below. So after you watch this video, take the quiz, answer the questions, the more questions you answer correctly, the higher the chance, and one in three will win a chapter from my book. It's going to be delivered electronically to you, a real chapter from my The Ultimate Diabetes book. So, go ahead, finish the video, take the quiz, and win. Okay guys, I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist in Florida and New York. We are going to talk about cherries because it is the season I know you guys are looking at those cherries and some of them are eating a lot of it. I know it. Well, that's okay. But let's talk about uh, really what's the effect of cherries. Now, every food and every fruit, right, will have a different effect on every person. Everybody's a little different. Now, I'm just going to give you some facts and you will make your own decision about if you want to eat it, how much you want to eat it, and how much it affects your blood sugar. Now, what really determines any fruit to spike your blood sugar is based on their glucose content, right? So most fruits are, well, almost all fruits, are made with or created with uh, glucose, uh, fructose, and when they are combined, scrose. Uh, scrose is the same sugar that you have on the, on the table, you know, the white sugar that nobody wants to have, right? Uh, but the fructose that you have in the in the fruits are actually a good one because your liver processed the fructose a lot easier than glucose and the fructose doesn't spike your blood sugar as much. Now, I'm not talking about the high fructose corn syrup. That's a totally different beast. That's like something that you have to stay away from five miles away. But the fructose that comes in the fruit is very beneficial for you. It doesn't spike your blood sugar as much and it's easily processed. Now, the fruit Fruits that are high in fructose, like the berries or any berries pretty much, is good for you, right? And the apples are not bad. But as you get into the grapes and the berries, you know, those round sweet things, they can be very sneaky because they have a lot of glucose in them. The more glucose you have in a fruit, the higher the chances of it spiking your blood sugar. Now, what is the glycemic load of uh, cherries? Is around 13. So it's a high glycemic index food and it can spike your blood sugar even if you do not eat too much of it. So glycemic load, remember anything more than 10 is not good. Anything more than 20 is pretty much a suicide for diabetes. Anything, you know, between 4 and 10 is acceptable, but once you go above 10, you're taking chances there. More than likely, it will spike your blood sugar. Now, if you are having around one cup of cherries, that's around 15 to 20 grams of carbohydrates in total. So it is not horrible if that's the only thing you're having. But if you are bringing the entire bag and just eating until you're full, you may be in trouble. Uh, sometimes people snack on those things mindlessly and that's probably not a very good idea. If you don't think you can control yourself and stop eating after a cup of cherries for snack, I would suggest don't even start it because you will be in trouble. Same thing applies to grapes. But again, cherries are nice. They have a lot of anthocyanins, which are great for vascular system, for heart antioxidants and you don't need a lot of it right so if you're having a half a cup or one cup of cherries will be more than enough to get your antioxidant needs without having to load yourself with a lot of sugar so guys i hope that helps and if it does uh, please give a thumbs up like and share and we'll see you in the next one enjoy your cherries hey guys i hope you're enjoying this channel so far and i hope you subscribed already if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.